Good morning. Welcome to the Sunday morning worship experience at Christ Universal Temple. Special thanks to our online viewers that are watching us from all over the world. We appreciate your support. Please share this service with your network. This month is very exciting for us. We are celebrating the 13th anniversary for Reverend Dr. Derek B. Wells. Thank you so much, Reverend Wells, for your service and hard work. We truly, truly appreciate you. Our lesson today is the Wealth Spark, and our lesson will be brought to us by Reverend James Parker, the Senior Minister of Unity Chicago. Thank you for being with us today, Reverend Parker. Let us just now prepare our minds for this excellent service. Let us become still. Thank you, God, for this day, this beautiful day. Thank you, God, for empowering us with the faculty of wisdom, the wisdom to make decisions, the wisdoms to move and be and have any and everything that we can have, the wisdom to listen to the still small voice. We thank you, God, for being the source. We thank you, God, for being the channel of all of our good. And we just thank you for being you, God. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And so it is. Amen. Enjoy the service. Good morning to you, T. You stand to your feet this morning. Are you glad to be here today on this beautiful day? Welcome to our online viewers. Come on, turn to somebody and say, I will live. Come on, if you choose life today, say, I will live. Come on, turn to somebody and say, I will live. Right on, I will live. Here we go, everybody. Say, I will live and I will live. I will live. Say, I will live. I will live. I will live. Come on, everybody. Say, I will live. Come on, clap your hands this morning. I will live. First, don't let trouble weigh you down. Don't let trouble weigh you down. Give yourself another chance. Let the God in you arise and claim the solid rock you'll stand. Come on, sing it again. Don't let trouble weigh you down. Give yourself another chance. Let the God in you arise. Claim the solid rock you stand. Come on, say, I will live. Everybody say, I will live. Come on, clarify today. I will live. Say, I will live. 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 Come on, say, I will live. Yeah. I will live. I will live. I will live. Say, I will live. What you speak, say. Be careful what you speak. No matter what goes wrong. No matter what goes Cause there's power in the tongue. Power in the so tongue. say the words that make you strong. No One more time. Be careful what you speak. Be careful what you speak. No matter what goes wrong. No matter what goes wrong. Cause there's power in the tongue. Power in the tongue. Say the words that make you strong. Come on, say I will live. I will live.
Come on, come on, clap your hands this morning and just say, I will live to see the goodness of our Lord. Did you come to have church today? Come on, can we give him glory this morning? Let's lift our hands, let's clap our hands. Make some noise right there. the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. We come and lift our hands and give him glory. All right. We come and lift our hands and give him praise. Everybody in the room say, we come and lift our hands and give him glory. We come, yeah. We come and lift our hands and give him praise. We come to lift our hands and give him glory. We come to lift our hands and give them praise. Everybody in the room, sing. We come to lift our hands and give it glory. We come, we come, yeah. We come to lift come our hands and give it praise. Say, give them glory. Give them glory. Give them glory. Give them glory. Yes, we do. We come to lift our hands and give it praise. That's what we came to do. Give them glory. Give them glory. We come to lift. We come to lift our hands and give them praise. And give him praise, everybody in the room say. Yeah! 
Come on, the people of God, you say hallelujah. Good to see you. It's time for our appointment with God. It's time for your appointment with God. This is a wonderful day, just a beautiful day. We can't complain about it raining or being cloudy or gray outside. Everything is in divine order. It's even in the order that we like, right? And so when we have the opportunity to realize the sun is shining, we have to take advantage of it because we say that's the kind of day we like, right? So as the sun woke you up this morning, not just the one that's in the sky, but the sun that's in you, the one we celebrated several weeks ago. We want to just be aware of the wisdom of God within us. The wisdom of God. That idea in the mind of God of orderly knowledge. It takes everything we know, everything we've learned, everything we've experienced, and it puts it in order for us so that when we need it again, it's right there. So as we go into this appointment with God, we go into it with all of our talents and abilities, our gifts. 
we take them to the throne and we place them at the feet of God, at the understanding of God. God, I have all of this. I have a beautiful day, I have a beautiful family, I have beautiful friends, I have beautiful colleagues. I have gifts, I have talents, I have abilities. What do I do with it, God? Tell me what to do with all that you've given me. Guide my feet, God. Guide my mind. Give me direction, God. When I open my mouth, God, let people hear your voice. Not my will, but thine be done. God, help me to listen to you more, more and more. Help me to stop the chatter that goes on when my emotions are out of whack. Lead me. Lead me, God, and I will follow because I've learned that when I don't, it just doesn't work. Guide me, God. Guide me, turn me left, turn me right, and give me the wisdom to listen to you. Thank you, God, for all of the things that I've asked. Thank you, God, for those things that you've given me that I haven't even asked for. Thank you, God, for just being you all by yourself. Thank you, God. We come today just giving it all, not holding on to anything, not thinking we've learned enough, but knowing that we are ready to change. We are ready to be better. We are ready to have a healthier, a happier life, God. Thank you for our relationships. Thank you that you help us communicate honestly with one another. Thank you that I have patience, not just with my partner, but patience with myself. Take a deep breath and release. And throughout the day, God, we know that you are the breath, the breath that we take. Every one of them is you, God. Thank you for that. Thank you for your healing power. Thank you that as you reveal yourself that nothing needs to be healed. Only you, God, are revealed at a much deeper, deeper level. We know about healing in this church, God. We're very familiar with it. And so allow us, God, to see perfect health in others. Help us to see perfect health in ourselves, in our bodies, in our minds. And 
And most of all, God, thank you for loving us. Thank you for trusting us. And we trust you. God bless you. And so it is. Please stand for our Lord's Prayer. to UT. Are you having a good time at church today? We are, we are celebrating one of the most phenomenal people that I know. And uh, before I bring our guest, can we just put our hands together and just thank God for Reverend Dr. Derek B. Well, yes, stand to your feet. That's an order too. Yes. I appreciate you, sir. I appreciate you. I really do love you. So we wanted to invite a few guests this, this month to help us celebrate. We have a very special treat, uh, one of Chicago's most celebrated R&B soul singers. Um, he's been with us uh, before. His name is Bernard Live, but we, Bernard Burton, formerly known as Bernard Burton. Can you all put your hands together and welcome Bernard to the stage? He's going to come and bless us this morning. Good morning, CUT. Pastor Wells, and I heard you just had a birthday, so birthday blessings to you. Happy pastor's anniversary as well. Hope you guys enjoy. I'm here to bless the house. I'll be committed to you. I'll never leave you. Nothing in this world can make me walk along. No matter what life may bring, I'll be by your side. No matter what you face, you won't be lonely. Because forever is a long time. That's how long I'll love you. That's how long I'll love you. Forever. Forever is a long time. That's how long I'll love you. And that's how long I'll love you. Forever. No matter 
face You won't be lonely, yeah This is my promise to you My love is everlasting You can count on me to be there Can we give some appreciation to Brother Bernard Burton? Thank you so much.
What an anniversary celebration to have the Reverend James Parker as today's speaker live here at Christ Universal Temple. The seasoned, ordained, and licensed Unity Minister, the Reverend Parker is known for serving with the Unity Worldwide Ministries, creating and implementing new up levels throughout the Unity Movement. His new book, The Wealth Spark, is available to us after service. No stranger to CUT, in fact, a welcomed metaphysical teacher, Christ Universal Temple, please welcome back the Unity of Chicago Senior Minister, the Reverend James Parker. Oh my God. Oh my God, thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh. Oh. How do you, um... I mean, how do you remain stable after something like that? Say yes. Say yes. Oh my God. Uh, all right, if I ain't ready now, I ain't gonna be ready. So I am just really happy to be here. Good morning, everyone. It is just such a pleasure to be here, to be in your energy, to be in your light. It is just something very special about this place and seeing all these beautiful people, listening to this beautiful music. Boy, huh. maybe I can take off and come again next week. <laughs> that ain't gonna happen, is it? Okay. <laughs> So I, I really want to get into the flow and the goodness of this day. It is beautiful outside today. Boy, Spirit just made this day for all of us, especially me. I get to share it with you and to have this experience and to get into this, this excitement. You know, before I get started, I want to just take a moment because this is a very special day. Our brother Derek Wells here. What an amazing man he is. You know, to be in a ministry for 13 years, and let me preface it, because I can speak to this. To be a senior minister for 13 years, that's an anomaly. It doesn't happen nowadays. Yet Derek shows up with integrity, with passion, with a heart full of gratefulness and love. And he shares that every week, every day throughout the year and brings it to the world. That is something that is so phenomenal. And not only has it blessed me, but I'm sure it's blessed each and every one of you. And let's give our brother Derek a hand, please this amazing minister. Now, I would be remiss if I didn't pull the first lady into this. I like to pull people into things. And she is the, the example, the embodiment of someone who is being led by the Spirit. You see, you don't get to be in this place that Brother Dr. Wells is in without a shining star. And Sister Sylvia has been there. See, as a senior minister, Dr. Wells has to come apart for a while. And when he comes apart for a while, someone is there being understanding. As a senior minister, he has to, to stop in the middle of a vacation or get up in the middle of the night to go. And yet, that shining star is there with patience. 
when Dr. Wells comes home dragging after a long day, his energy drained. Someone is there to love and nurture him. You see, the Bible says where two or more are together, there God is in the midst. When you see the two of them, you see God. What a blessing you are, Sister Sylvia. Yes. Now, if I keep talking, I'm going to have to put more in the collection plate. So I, th I think I better move on <laughs> to the lesson for today. So I came up with this lesson as a result of just, just kind of finding myself in this place. You know, it's, uh, it's amazing how we have all been called to something. And I was called to speak about the Wellspark. But this calling isn't just for me. This is a call to action for you. And what that means is that we have to take everything we've learned, all the wisdom and understanding, everything that has shown up in our lives, all of our experiences, and then use them to make the world and ourselves better. So I want you to, to take this call to action and allow yourself to come into the, the best and highest of yourself. My lesson title today is The Wealth Spark, Claiming Your Prosperity. You know, each of us carries a divine spark within, an inner flame, a powerful gift from the universe. This spark, it, it gives us the ability to manifest abundance in all forms. Love, peace, joy, happiness, better health, and financial success. What's known as our spiritual wealth, demonstrating that prosperity and consciousness go hand in hand. For example, during a time of struggle, stress, and confusion, a man feeling stuck and weighed down found an old dusty and forgotten lamp in the attic. He wiped it off, and to his surprise, a genie appeared, offering to grant his wishes. But instead of asking for wealth straight away to fix his troubles, he wished to understand the source of true abundance and prosperity. The genie smiled, and with a wave of his hand, showed the man a mirror. In his reflection, he saw a flame burning brightly from within. Your wishes, the genie said, are already within you. Can you see it? Look deeper. This is where all true prosperity begins. Just like in this tale, the wellspark represents our inner flame. It's the potential and power that each of us already holds, reminding us that claiming our true prosperity starts with recognizing and activating this inner light, reminding us that this journey we are on to abundant success and happiness isn't about wealth alone. It's about using this inner light, this flame of the spirit, to attract our dreams, desires, wishes, blessings, and our true purpose. Imagine this, if you will. Years ago, I got an idea. Not just any idea, but one that felt like it was waiting just for me. At first, it was just a title a spark, something cool without much behind it, just floating in the back of my mind. Then boom, it hit me full force. No longer a quiet thought, but a loud, clear call I couldn't ignore. Taking this path 
has been like stepping into a brand new day. My heart is pounding. Excitement mixed with a touch of nerves. I was venturing into the unknown, facing doubts and hurdles, attempting to weigh me down at every step. Yet deep down, I felt like it was more than just me chasing a dream. It was a calling, something meant just for me from the start. Turning the vision of the Wellspark into reality was a real challenge. Moments of uncertainty, big obstacles, times where I questioned myself and my direction. But every time I tripped, I felt a push, a gentle nudge. That push, that was God. The universe itself reminding me that I wasn't on this path alone. This journey we are all on, it's more than just bringing ideas to life. This journey teaches us, it shows us that incredible things happen when we sync up with something greater than ourselves. It taught me that true wealth and success aren't about doing it all solo, but joining forces with that higher power or inner light of our being. It also taught me that being rich is more than about money. It's about a life filled a life filled with happiness, purpose, and real satisfaction. The wellspark, that flame we all have inside of us, it's not just a book idea, it's a divine idea. Something inherited from the spirit and the key to unlocking our true abundance and a life filled, a life filled with all the good we can imagine. And it unfolds by recognizing our God-given gifts, our spiritual abundance, our inner light, your wellspark, fueling it with faith and letting it abundantly and successfully unfold in your life. Let me share a scripture for, it from, for you from the book of Deuteronomy. It says, remember the Lord your God for it is he who gives you the ability to produce wealth. Remember the Lord your God, for it is he who gives you the ability to produce wealth. This scripture, it emphasizes that our ability to create wealth is about more than the hustle or our own human efforts, but it's, it's granted to us by a link we have to the source of all that is. This link or inner wellspark, it keeps us plugged in and guided towards our highest good. It gives us the ability to thrive and prosper and it fuels our journey with energy every step of the way. Here's how it works. Your wellspark, it helps you acknowledge your source. Hmm. Your ability to create wealth, including money, is a gift from something far greater than yourself. By recognizing that you are not alone, that something greater is supporting you, you transform your journey, your path, to one guided by God, the source of all that is. Your wellspark, it helps you Align with spiritual law. Prosperity isn't random. What do you think? It's luck? Prosperity doesn't just show up. It's uh, the result of living in harmony with universal principles. You've heard of universal principles before, haven't you? Hmm. When we align our actions and beliefs with these laws, like the law of attraction or giving and receiving, we open ourselves up to a life of abundance, blessings, and purpose. Are you with me? Your wellspark, it helps you cultivate gratitude for abundance. 
whether you know it or not, gratitude magnifies your ability to attract wealth. Gratitude, gratefulness, thankfulness, appreciation magnifies your ability to attract wealth. Hmm. By appreciating your life and everything in it, every blessing, every thought, every moment and movement, every blessing, every thought, every moment and movement, you energize and amplify your attraction to overflowing wealth. Still with me? Your wealth spark, lastly, helps you rise above the illusion of scarcity. Hmm. By accepting the truth of unlimited potential and abundance in your life, by shifting your mindset from scarcity to wealth or from lack and limitation to endless possibility, you stake a claim to your spiritual inheritance and rise up to a prosperous life in all respects. However, there it is. What is he going to say now? When we don't accept our inner wealth spark, it's like having a treasure map but choosing not to follow it. Some of the tendencies that emerge from not choosing to accept our inner wealth spark includes missing out on your potential. Missing out on your potential is like having a winning lottery ticket but never cashing it in. By not claiming your God-given wealth and prosperity, you miss out on the opportunities and blessings that are meant from you from the start that are yours by divine right. Not accepting your inner wealth spark keeps you stuck in scarcity. When you don't embrace, by, by not embracing your inner light of abundance, <laughs> it's like needing sunlight but never opening the blinds. You might find yourself stuck in a scarcity mindset, thinking there's never enough, never enough resources, never enough opportunities, never enough money, never enough time, never enough love, never enough blessings. Hmm. Not accepting your inner well spark keeps you weighed down or trapped. Imagine dragging a bag filled with rocks. Each rock, a doubt, fear, regret, or negative belief. This load hinders you every step of the way toward your wealth, health, and abundance. Making progress, healing, and prosperity out of reach, impossible to express. Finally, not accepting your inner wealth spark, boy, leads to a life of what ifs. A life of what ifs is a never ending cycle. It's like ending the day wondering what would have happened had you answered that call, opened that letter, taken that chance. It's the quiet regret of the unplayed songs within us, the books never written, the business ever opened, the investments never made, and the dreams never pursued. The dreams never pursued. You see, we have to come into a place where we understand that the essence of what we're doing is we're opening up to an inner flame, our internal light, our divine spark. By doing that, we bring forth a life of goodness and blessings and potentiality where we can claim our prosperity, live a better life, and soar on wings like eagles. But when we don't, it's like having wings but choosing to walk everywhere. You'll never truly soar or reach new heights. Let me share a story with you from the book of Daniel. There, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego face a literal trial by fire. Defying King Nebuchadnezzar's order, 
to worship a golden statue, they were tossed into the fiery furnace. Many of us have been tossed into the fiery furnace. And, and what came up was that it proved that they, didn't, that they didn't have to deal with the external flames because their inner flame, their inner guide, their inner light was much more powerful. You see, we all face the fiery furnace, that part of the ego that wants us to worship, chase, celebrate, or pay homage to worldly or external figures of wealth and power. Flames brought on by our, our error thoughts, by our past beliefs, by our actions, choices, and decisions. These egotistic or, or worldly flames are our doubts, fears, lack consciousness, and limitations, our illusions of scarcity, that which keeps us stuck, trapped, burdened, stressed, weighed down and sentenced to a life of fiery or negative experiences. However, like Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, you are naturally equipped with a divine spark, with the inner spirit, with a well spark that no external challenge can extinguish. This spark, it allows you to see abundance where others see lack to find opportunities instead of obstacles and to remain steadfast in your prosperity journey. Tell me, what causes you to feel like your world is on fire? And what needs to be released and transformed in order for you to, you know, for, in order for you to really claim your prosperity? I mean, what do you do when you're facing the fiery furnace? You see, the fires are going to come. There's no doubting that. But when they do, you are being called, put to the test, divinely guided, and given the ability to look deep into the mirror, to see the internal flame or wellspark burning brightly, to transform into your highest and best self, and to walk through the fire, untouched by the flames. Consider the eagle, if you will. When these majestic birds reach the age of 40, they have a big decision to make. Their shine becomes less. Their beaks and claws, which they use to catch food, aren't sharp anymore. Their feathers become heavy, making it hard for them to fly. At this point, the ego faces two choices, give up and die or go through a painful transformative process. Choosing transformation, the ego flies to a mountaintop and sits in its nest. There, it painfully knocks its beak against a rock until it plucks it out. Then it waits for a new beak to grow back. Then it uses that beak to tear out its talons one by one. When its talons grow back, it plucks out its old feathers. The whole process takes about 150 days, but adds 30 years to the ego's life. This tough period is for the ego to reclaim its prosperity, to grow strong again to fly high and live its life to the fullest. This story mirrors our own lives. We all carry burdens, doubts, regrets, past failures, that which keeps us weighed down and steals our shine. It might be losing a job, money concerns, dealing with health issues, falling short of your dreams grieving the loss of a loved one, looking back at the past, thinking you've lost some years, heartbreak or divorce, or facing personal setbacks. These are heavy feathers and dull beaks. However, 
like the ego, when we accept the painful yet rewarding process of transformation through plucking out or letting go of our old selves, we ignite something greater at the depths of our beings. Hmm. This isn't about just overcoming life's hurdles. It's about recognizing that within us lies a capability, a power, a greater source, which empowers us to activate our wellspark, rise up, shed what holds us back, claim our prosperity, shine like new money, and transform into our highest and best self, reaching heights we never could imagine, inspiring and, and uplifting ourselves and those around us to grow stronger, fly higher, and live longer. There's an old proverb that I often use or turn to when I'm feeling a little off my game. It says, turn your face towards the sun and the shadows fall behind you. Turn your face towards the sun and the shadows fall behind you. This proverb, it suggests that turning our attention and energy toward the inner spirit, light, or that spark of love, wealth, and potential within us, we naturally shift or move away from our doubts, fears, and scarcity. In doing so, we illuminate our path. We bring forth a new light and come through with abundance, purpose, and prosperity. Friends, you are not alone. Your wishes have been granted. Look deeper. God, the light of spirit within us, has already given you all the ability you need to produce wealth. Step into the light of your inner spark, guided, being guided toward your greatest potential and light. This divine flame, it is the key guiding you from the shadows into the sunlight of your potential. Today, don't miss out. Shed the old. Pluck out what no longer serves you. Allow yourself to cast aside the doubts and then break free from the fiery furnace of lack and limitation. Remind yourself that your inner wellspark is much more powerful than any external treasures. It is your connection to God empowering you to, to transform scarcity into abundance, obstacles into opportunities, and dreams into reality. Hmm. Allow yourself to come forth today. Rise up. Claim your prosperity. Allow yourself to let your light shine for all to see and create a life that reflects your highest self, your spiritual wealth, who you truly are on the inside. You are rich in love, rich in peace, rich in happiness, rich in good health, and rich in financial success, soaring on wings like eagles. I believe you can. C-U-T, are you willing to do this with me today? Are you willing to do this with me today? Thank you all, and God bless you. Thank you. Thank you, brother. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you so much. Thank you, brother. Amen. Christ Universal Temple, help me one more time say thank you to Reverend James Parker. To God be the glory. And now we have an opportunity to um, personally activate our wealth spark through the process of giving. 
Uh, so I want to invite you to take your tithe, your gift, your love offering, however you've come prepared to give, share, and sow into this Jesus Christ ministry on this morning. Um, if you need an envelope, there should be one right in front of the seat back before you. If you'd like to give by text, you can do that by texting uh, CUT to 41444. And as you prepare to uh, exit the sanctuary today, our ushers stand ready to support you in your giving. Amen. Let's just take a moment to turn within. Take a deep breath. Repeat after me, I'm excited, I'm excited. About, this about this opportunity to give. To give. I, give freely. I give freely, I give lovingly, I give abundantly because I realize that the source of my wealth, success, prosperity, and abundance is on the inside. I'm lighting the spark and letting it shine brightly. I now give my tithes and offerings to God and I reap all my soul can hold. Thank you, God. Amen and amen. Amen. So we have an interesting opportunity. This is like 15 minutes. And I recognize and realize that on occasion, I keep you longer than 12 o'clock. And so I could give some time back to you and we could be even. Uh, or we can see if the musicians want to bless us. Just a little bit, just, 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 just give us a little bit, just give us a little bit of, a little bit of something, and then I'm, I won't give a full 15 minutes. We're gonna release early, so I'm gonna give you a, 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 this is not even really a concert, don't call it a concert, just call it a miniature, um, you say festival. <laughs> now this is, this is like a Hershey kiss of blessings for you, all right? So they're gonna give you a Hershey kiss, We'll, we'll, um, no, ma'am, I am not going to sing. No, I am not going to sing. Take, take it away, bro.
somebody say, let him use you. Can I let you in on a secret? All you really have to do is get amazing musicians started. And once they start jamming, the spirit of the living God comes through what they do. Help me say thank you to the musicians of Christ Universal Temple. Some of the most amazing on the planet. I don't know if, um, and this was some time ago. Some of you, some, if some of you were watching, um, there was something happening with the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame or something happening at the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. And um, you may have seen this man right here, Marcus Kinsey, on the program. That's the caliber of musician who blesses you Sunday in and Sunday out. Rock and roll, Hall of Fame caliber. Um, and I just want to just hit one more thing that was just as wonderful that I saw this morning. There was a, a, a I imagine that's your, is that your baby? So we know, we know that you train up a child in the way that, that they should go, and when they become older, they won't depart from it. And I imagine her dad will let her decide what she wants to be and what she wants to do with her life. But it wouldn't surprise me even a little bit if she turned out to be an amazing musician or pianist and organist or whatever it is. Um, sitting at his knee, developing the skill, and becoming great sometimes just by watching. Amen. So I won't talk any longer. I'm going to let Reverend Bird um, share the announcements with you, our reminders with you, and she'll give us our benediction. And if we get out before 12 o'clock, we're still even. You know, I helped Monte with his homework. When he was in school, I told him, every time he does something big, I'm gonna tell. <laughs> Our reminders, April 2024, we are celebrating 13 years of leadership with our senior minister. We can't say that enough today. Here are just a few things happening at Christ Universal Temple during the month of April. The, Rain, the Reverend James Parker is preparing to sign his book, The Wealth Spark, following this service. The books are available in the bookstore. Reverend Roderick Norton will be the anniversary speaker next week. <laughs> Slated for April 28th, we have Senior Minister Appreciation Day following service. So all groups, families, friends will present Reverend and First Lady Wells gifts of appreciation. If you want to participate, contact Ella Ty at the 312, no, excuse me, that's my number, 773-568-2282, Ella Ty. Please join us as we celebrate this wonderful couple. The Reverend Sharit Thompson will be the speaker on April 28th. Also on April 28th, the Reverend Dr. Jacqueline Trish Atkins and the Gold Rush Women's Conference attendees will be here in service with us. Get moving with the Johnny Coleman Institute this spring as they offer Tai Chi and line dancing classes. Tai Chi began last Saturday, April 13th, and line dancing begins Friday, April 19th. 
You can register online at our website, cut.org, for both classes. Our biannual prayer day service is Saturday, May 4th at 12 p.m. Join our prayer, prayer ministry director, the Reverend Valerie McGee, the singing Reverend Valerie McGee, and the prayer ministry for a service that can help you get your prayer breakthroughs. Join our new online CUT collective via Facebook. The collective has unique community engagement and online ministerial events, including the weekly sermon Rewind, only found on its Facebook page. Sign up today at cutemple.org. If you desire prayer after this service and all other services, members of the CUT ministerial team will be posted in front of the platform offering prayer support. One will be on this side, one will be on that side. So please just come forward and we are more than happy to pray with you. And that concludes our reminders. What a wonderful service we've had, right? And we continue every Sunday, the month of April we're celebrating, but we are like this every Sunday, every Sunday. These musicians are here, we're here, our love is here, our guidance, our direction. We celebrate God within us. And I have two minutes, so I gotta do this really quickly. Thank you to the people who are online. Thank you so much for being here with us. Our prayer of protection. Together, the light of God surrounds us. The love of God enfolds us. The power of God protects us, and the presence of God watches over us. Wherever we are, God is, and so it is. One minute, we're giving, Rev is giving you one minute. God bless you.